Welcome! In this video, we are going to take a deep dive into the concepts of purpose, calling, passion and spark, how to discover them and what they are from a point of view based on spiritual knowledge. What all these terms have in common is that they refer to a connection with the soul. However, to truly comprehend them, it's easier to divide them into two different perspectives. The terms passion and spark refer to the feminine side of the connection with our soul, while purpose and calling refer to the masculine. The feminine is passive, subconscious and linked to being. So, passion or spark refer to activities that our soul deeply loves, and therefore, when we do them, we feel a deeper connection with spirit. We feel ourselves grounded in the present moment and aligned with the flow of life. Ideally, we would be in this state regardless of what we are doing. We would remain most of our time in a state of mindfulness. But, realistically, there are activities that assist us in connecting with our soul, activities that are neutral, and activities or events that can cause us to suppress the soul. These will be different for each person, but there are certain activities that are known to work for most of us, with meditation being the best example. As for the masculine, it's an energy that is active, conscious, and linked to doing. So, purpose, or calling, refer to what our soul wishes to accomplish during this current incarnation, how it wishes to expand and transform itself. And unlike our passions, our purpose isn't always pleasant. While the feminine is our comfort zone, our masculine is our growth zone and personal evolution, which is often challenging and exciting. Is it possible to have a purpose that is also a passion? Yes, they are two sides of the same coin, both enhance the connection with the soul. Therefore, finding a sense of purpose often leads to discovering our passions, and investing in our passions often leads us to find our sense of purpose, even when they don't seem to be directly connected from our perspective. For example, someone very passionate for gardening, who feels their purpose is to be a writer. Both activities are different, but it might be during gardening when they relax and receive inspiration for their books. Over time, writing will become a passion, but at first it can be very challenging and difficult, bringing up a lot of insecurities. And it's gardening that allows to push through that initial discomfort. From the soul's perspective, both activities are complementary and interconnected. Regardless of gender, our passions are connected with our Divine Feminine energy, which is passive, healing, caring, emotional, intuitive, loving, as well as focused on being and charting our inner reality. When we connect to our sense of passion and excitement, we are connecting to the comfort zone of our soul. In other words, reconnecting with what our soul already deeply loves either from this incarnation or from past incarnations. As we discover and enjoy our passions, we connect with our soul, and as the soul connects with spirit, we feel in union with source energy. Love is part of the base energy of the universe, so when we allow ourselves to be in the vibration of love, we connect with higher vibrational states of being. There are countless stories of athletes, performers, and individuals of all walks of life who described momentary events when they were so deeply in the zone that they managed to perform things that normally would have been impossible or highly improbable. It's worth mentioning that it can be tricky to distinguish the sense of joy and love that comes from a passion in comparison to the relief and pleasure that come from harmless forms of short-term gratification. But our passions are linked to long-term gratification they motivate us to challenge ourselves and often facilitate our growth. This chart is useful to comprehend how this process works. Our comfort zone is the sum of all that makes us feel safe and in control, along with everything that we have normalized, especially at the subconscious level. Outside the comfort zone, we can encounter three zones, the fear zone, the learning zone, and the growth zone with the growth zone being the result of entering the other two regularly and during a considerable amount of time, leading to automaticity. This is a term related to turning conscious skills subconscious, and therefore automatic. 
Riding a bike is the easiest example. At first we need to focus a lot and maybe even fall a few times. Months later, we drive almost effortlessly and we don't forget how to ride them. In other words, what was once part of the fear, learning and growth zones became an upgrade to the comfort zone. Passions are particularly useful because they naturally motivate us to keep learning more and often encourage us to embrace and face the challenges or fears that come our way. Ideally, our comfort zones are always slowly expanding and growing, and one of the best ways to find potential new passions is to stay grounded on the present moment and in touch with our emotions as much as possible. It's actually possible to do an activity that is a strong passion for us and overlook it if we stay lost in our mind and in our worries. Another helpful way to discover our passions is to spend time with people who already align with ours, even if they have different passions from ours. Finding a sense of belonging is a very powerful influence and meeting positive people can motivate us to keep moving forward. Even when we don't know anyone aligned with our passions, there are videos, artwork or projects from people across the world that can inspire us and maybe even help us find a sense of purpose as well. When we connect to our sense of purpose, we are connecting to ourselves calling and we are entering our growth zone. In other words, our purpose is the sum of goals our soul wishes to achieve during this lifetime and they can be short-term, long-term, focused, varied, broad or specific. For example, an old soul might incarnate here with a very specific and laser-focused purpose, while a younger soul might incarnate to explore and discover their sense of identity. Each case is a case, and what applies to one person might not apply to another. To facilitate the explanation of this topic, our purpose can be divided into two categories, personal expansion and career path. Personal expansion refers to our soul's desire to explore different types of knowledge and new experiences, along with healing and growing beyond certain situations that occurred during this lifetime or in past lives. This is commonly known as karmic cleansing, and it has a goal of freeing ourselves from what binds us, as well as accepting and integrating what we don't yet love, while our passions relate to loving deeper what we already love. For example, in fiction, personal expansion would be the character's growth and development throughout the story. As for the career path, it can best be described as being of service to others, a concept that is very linked to our sense of purpose from the soul's point of view. The best way of service to others is a constant attempt to seek to share the love of the Creator as it is known to the inner self. This means that the mind-body-spirit complex must then seek within itself the intelligence of its own discernment as to the way it may best serve other selves. This will be different for each. There is no best, there is no generalization, nothing is known. Our sense of service evolves throughout the different phases of our lives as our connection with our core values and soul deepens. We also often link the concept of service with career, as both walk hand in hand, but our sense of service goes deeper. For example, someone who finds a sense of service by providing knowledge to others is likely going to choose a career where they can exercise this in a practical way. In astrology, this is something we can observe in our birth charts by analyzing them in heaven. A point placed on the cusp of our tent house that represents our professional life, public reputation and achievements. The North Node is also important as it represents our life lessons and path to personal expansion. Astrology can help us connect deeper with ourselves and it's known to be a useful tool to clarify both our sense of purpose and our passions. A prominent Aries energy in our charts, be it a Sun, Moon, Ascendant or 5th house placement, can often represent passions or a special interest in some of the following topics. Physical activity, martial arts, self-defense, safety, debates, competitive sports, driving, metalworks, treasure hunting, outdoor activities, jewelry, headgear, hairstyling, tattooing, startups and many others. 
a midheaven in Aries can symbolize a desire to be of service by providing safety and protection, be it physical, mental, emotional, or even in business. This placement often represents gaining the strength to overcome challenges, as well as developing a soulful sense of self, being comfortable with self-expression, and learning how to inspire others to defend themselves. A North Node in Aries may indicate the need to become more assertive and comfortable in establishing healthy boundaries. It often brings lessons and rewards regarding the need to grow into a sense of self that comes from a connection with our soul, instead of unwanted outside influences. It may also bring us opportunities to embrace our gut instincts, learn leadership skills and trailblaze new paths. A prominent Taurus energy in our charts, be it a Sun, Moon, Ascendance or 5th house placement, can often represent passions or special interest in some of the following topics. Cooking, baking, music, vocal training, musical instruments, perfume, fragrances, spy experiences, ambience, collecting, farming, agriculture, crafting, ergonomics, sculpting, pottery, and many others. A midheaven in Taurus can symbolize a desire to be of service by providing a sense of abundance, peace and security, as well as inspiring others to practice patience, resilience and appreciation for life's simple pleasures. This placement also represents being seen as someone stable, grateful and reliable. A North Node in Taurus may indicate the need to learn to prioritize healthy relationships and time to connect with ourselves. It also often brings lessons and rewards regarding the need to enrich our sense of personal value and release limiting beliefs regarding love, prosperity and our overall quality of life. Prominent Gemini energy in our charts, be it a Sun, Moon, Ascendant or Fifth House placement, can often represent passions or a special interest in some of the following topics. Linguistics, language, studying, teaching, calligraphy, printing, poetry, fiction, character writing, acting, immersive experiences, puzzles, engineering, informatics, and many others. A midheaven in Gemini can symbolize a desire to be of service by providing information and turning learning into an easy and fun experience, as well as inspiring others to try new things and feel comfortable with their intellectual skills. This placement often represents being perceived as smart, communicative, and bright. A North Node in Gemini may indicate the need to work on our communication and self-expression, as it often brings lessons and rewards regarding finding our voice and speaking up for ourselves. It may also bring us opportunities to find confidence in our abilities, work on our teamwork and develop our listening skills. A prominent Cancer energy in our charts, be it a Sun, Moon, Ascendant or Field House placement, can often represent passions or a special interest in some of the following topics. Decoration, Architecture, Restoration, Repurposing, Parenting, Creative Outlets, Expressionism, Cozy Living, Intuitive Skills, Advising, Active Listening and many others. A midheaven in Cancer can symbolize a desire to be of service by providing comfort, support and assistance, as well as inspiring others to connect with their emotions and be kind with themselves. This placement often represents being perceived as emotionally mature, empathic and private. A North Node in Cancer may indicate the need to find nurturing ways to embrace our emotions and needs, as it often brings lessons and rewards regarding creating meaningful connections with healthy boundaries as well as enhancing emotional intelligence and deepening our intuition. It may also bring us opportunities to find a good work-life balance, learning to be more receptive and to let go of the need to control. A prominent Leo energy in our charts, be it a Sun, Moon, Ascendant or Fifth House placement, can often represent passions or a special interest in some of the following topics. Entertainment, film, theater, humor, performing arts, motivational speaking, Charisma, Fitness, Style, Entrepreneurship, Marketing, Branding, Animation, Inspiration, and many others. A midheaven in Leo can symbolize a desire to be of service by motivating and inspiring others to shine their light, as well as encouraging others to embrace their confidence, optimism, passions and talents. 
Displacement often represents being perceived as enthusiastic, generous, and warm-hearted. A North node in Leo may indicate the need to work on our self-confidence and celebrate our personal achievements, both big and small. It often brings lessons and rewards regarding balancing self-focus and other focus, taming our ego, and learning leadership qualities. It may also bring us opportunities to cultivate our charisma, fun, humor, and passion for life. A prominent Virgo energy in our chart, be it a Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Fixed House placement, can often represent passions or a special interest in some of the following topics. Health, wellness, personal development, cleaning, routine, management, observation, detail, maintenance, repair, analysis, research, chemistry, and many others. I mean, heaven in Virgo can symbolize the desire to be of service to a practical, logical, and grounded perspective, while focusing on the importance of our mental, physical, and emotional well-being. Displacement often represents being perceived as diligent, dedicated, helpful, and adaptable. A north node in Virgo may indicate the need to work on our health, habits, and lifestyle, as it often brings lessons and rewards regarding being practical, mindful, and caring towards others and ourselves. It may also bring us opportunities to transform our imagination into plans and follow them through to the finish line. A prominent Libra energy in our shards, be it a sun, moon, ascendant, or fifth house placement, can often represent passions or a special interest in some of the following topics. Law, diplomacy, mediation, commerce, communication, beauty, fashion, design, visual arts, creative expression, antiquing, etiquette, ceremonies, and many others. A midheaven in Libra can symbolize the desire to be of service by providing balance and harmony into situations and relationships, as well as inspiring others to honor different points of view and choose empathy over conflict. Displacement often represents being perceived as fair, kind, cooperative, and peaceful. A North Node in Libra may indicate a need to build healthy connections, develop teamwork skills, and embrace commitment. It often brings lessons and rewards regarding balancing personal desires with the needs of others, as well as becoming heart-centered and mediating situations. It may also bring us opportunities to develop a refined aesthetic, eloquence, and a grateful mindset. A prominent Scorpio energy in our shards, be it a Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Fifth House placement, can often represent passions or a special interest in some of the following topics. Behavioral analysis, psychology, human nature, anatomy, genetics, investigation, forensic science, justice, social reintegration, mystery, the occult, esoteric knowledge, intuitive skills, and many others. A midheaven in Scorpio can symbolize a desire to be of service by seeking the truth behind situations and people, as well as inspiring others to be more intuitive, discerning, and perceptive. Displacement often represents being perceived as clever, mysterious, private, and astute. A north node in Scorpio may indicate a need to deal with obsessive tendencies, embrace change, and dive into our inner world. It often brings lessons and rewards regarding letting go, embracing the unknown, connecting with the soul and finding peace. It may also bring us opportunities to learn spiritual knowledge, heal emotional wounds and express pain constructively. A prominent Sagittarius energy in our shards, be it a sun, moon, ascendant or fifth house placement, can often represent passions or a special interest in some of the following topics. Travel, tourism, exploration, discovery, religious studies, education, cultural studies, storytelling, world building, nature activities, photography, documentaries, and many others. A midheaven in Sagittarius can symbolize the desire to be of service by acquiring knowledge and educating others, as well as inspiring others to expand their horizons, being more optimistic, open-minded, honest, and true to their moral values. Displacement often represents being perceived as light-hearted, wise, truthful, and generous. A North Node in Sagittarius may indicate the need to push ourselves out of our comfort zone, developing the willingness to consider other perspectives and try out new experiences. 
It often brings lessons and rewards regarding being receptive to a wide variety of viewpoints and open to exploring new topics of interest. It may also bring us opportunities to appreciate travel, discovery, mindfulness and clear communication. A prominent Capricorn energy in our charts, be it a Sun, Moon Ascendant or Fifth House placement, can often represent passions or a special interest in some of the following topics. Contracts, business, employment, investment, politics, construction, building, administration, geriatric wellness, literature, time management, meteorology, forecasting, precious metals, and many others. A mid-heaven in Capricorn can symbolize a desire to be of service by reaching out to potential and inspire others to do the same, as well as encouraging others to establish strong foundations that can last the test of time. This placement often represents being perceived as disciplined, resilient, resourceful, and reliable. A north node in Capricorn may indicate the need to embrace responsibility, delegation of tasks, and a healthy work-life balance. It often brings lessons and rewards regarding learning from mistakes, self-discipline, releasing attachments, and letting go of limiting beliefs. It may also bring us opportunities to break karmic cycles and establish relationships based on mutual give and take. A prominent Aquarius energy in our shards, be it a Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Fifth House placement, can often represent passions or a special interest in some of the following topics. Astronomy, Astrology, Technology, Invention, Progress, Science, Mathematics, the Internet, Education, Sociology, Sustainability, Volunteering, Abstract Art, Sound Engineering, Innovative Fashion, and many others. I mean, heaven in Aquarius can symbolize a desire to be of service by inspiring innovation and change as well as promoting the well-being of future generations and positive transformations within societies. Displacement often represents being perceived as intellectual, humanitarian, original, creative, and helpful. A North Node in Aquarius may indicate the need to live authentically and respectfully, considering the welfare of the world around us. It often brings lessons and rewards regarding carving our own path in life, developing critical thinking, and empathizing with different points of view. It may also bring us opportunities to find a sense of community, along with creative self-expression, independence, and self-fulfillment. A prominent Pisces energy in our charts, be it a Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Fifth House placement, can often represent passions or a special interest in some of the following topics. Spirituality, meditation, personal reflection, rehabilitation, psychotherapy, subliminal stimuli, wildlife conservation, charity work, fantasy, art, and many others. A heaven in Pisces can symbolize a desire to be of service by providing healing, recovery, and empathy, as well as encouraging others to develop emotional intelligence skills, intuition, and a heart-centered perspective. Displacement often represents being perceived as kind, creative, insightful, hopeful, and contemplative. A North Node in Pisces may indicate the need to align our subconscious beliefs and feelings with what we wish to achieve, as it often brings lessons and rewards regarding balancing imagination and action, hopes and facts, intuition and discernment. It may also bring us opportunities to access deeper levels of self-knowledge, forgiveness, creativity, and faith. Our birth charts include all signs and evolve over time. The more lessons, knowledge and inspiration we take from all of them, the better. Our sense of passion and purpose grows gradually throughout our journey through life, just as we do. Embracing that we make mistakes and learning from them constitutes a big part of finding both passion and purpose, since mistakes are a natural part of life. Finding a balance between connecting with others and connecting with ourselves is also important. Both are integral parts of our healing and growth. Connecting with our heart often works as a compass towards finding passions and a sense of purpose. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Please feel free to comment, like and subscribe, as it does help the channel grow and reach more people. See you soon.